This final cut tip is an excerpt from John Ballou's creative cutting workshop which can be found at johnballou.com. The workshop is over an hour long of mastering the magnetic timeline, color correcting, time remapping, and other editing goodness. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips like these, inside the edit room. I want to copy and paste my effects that I have on this clip to this clip. So I can just hit Command-C to copy, and then select it in Option-Command-V to paste it. The only problem with that is maybe I don't want everything that I copied. So let me undo that. And by the way, under Edit is uh, Paste Effects. And that's what I just did. I pasted all the effects. Even the audio effects get pasted. If I want to paste just the attributes, it, I have it set to Shift-Command-V. So that's found under the edit menu, and you can learn what your shortcut is if I've changed it. I can't remember if I've changed it or not. Um, so I'm going to do Command-C to copy, and then Shift-Command-V to paste. And now I can choose, here, let me move my, I guess it won't, it won't let me move my plate over here. Let me cancel that then. Okay, so Shift-Command-V to paste attributes. And I can choose exactly the attributes I want of what I've copied. Maybe I don't want the volume attributes because maybe I've keyframed the volume like I did earlier. And I'll just paste that in. Okay, so that's cool, but I know that I'm going to be using this a lot in my entire timeline. So right over here, I can save the effects presets. So everything you have in these effects, you can save. So I'll just click the Save button and I'll call it, you know, something like... Um, John's broadcast safe, you know, or whatever you want to call it. I'll just call it John's B. And these are the effects that I want to save into this. And if I have any keyframes in it, um, you might want to stretch to fit because when you paste keyframes, it's, you know, it depends on the length of the clip. Or maybe you just want the keyframes to, you know, at the front of it, and you want to maintain the timing of those keyframes. I don't have any keyframes, so I'm not too worried about it. So I'm going to save it, and my category, I, I created my own little category called, uh, what did I call it? I guess homemade, I think is what it was. So under homemade, and I'll just save it. So in the effects here, let's zoom in a little bit, under homemade, maybe? Oh, I've been using Final Cut for a good four years now. This gets me till this day. Do you know what's wrong? Why I don't see it here? It's because I'm still searching. <laughs> so let me clear that. And there's my John B, and I can just drag and drop it in. But what's cool about that is you can assign this to be a keyboard shortcut. So if you right-click on it, and you say Make make default video effect, right? And then let me just find this again. I'm hitting Shift F to find it in the browser. I'll select a portion, another portion, another portion, and I'm just hitting E to get all these into the timeline. So you can see I've got several clips here. Well, I can select them all, and because I right-clicked on it and said make default, uh, under edit, you can paste, or it says add John B, because the default effect is here. So it's option E to add that as default. So I can select several clips and then just hit option E, and it changes them all at one time. So if you have a, like a color correction like this that you're going to be using a lot, you can just do that.